All right, and, um, New York Post and multiple uh, media outlets reporting that the Black Lives co-founder subscribe to the channel and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Check out the current news playlist for more videos like this. Now, you know, how you think they spend your money in church? You know, that's why, you know, I talk, I forget who I talked talk to somebody. They were telling me that's why they don't never donate when they're asking to round up at the, uh, at the register for a cause. You know what I'm saying? Because, they, you know, they don't think the money getting to the uh the patrons and the way i look at it is i don't ever see the money put back into the neighborhoods and when you know when they do put the money back into the neighborhoods all black people do is tear it up anyway so you know you know i don't really never see nobody in my neighborhood benefiting um uh really benefiting from it but you know just because you don't see something don't mean don't think it's happening you look at the churches and stuff and the sign was put to me a sign of a good the sign of a good church is um it's a church that's always giving something away. And that's a sign of a really good church. And, you know, it's good churches out there and it's good charities out there. And I don't want people to think it it ain't. You know, but, you know, you run the cause and you give your money. I know when I give my money away to people on the streets, I know they're going to use it. You know, if they're going to use it to, uh, to buy drugs, if they're going to use it to buy alcohol, I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? And because if I wanted to give some food away, I just go like, you know, I'll be right back and grab you some food and you're going to use it the right way. I don't care. Use it how you're going to use it. That's how I look at it. Use it how you're going to use the money. You know, that's how I look at it. Just use it how you, you're going to use it. I'm just just helping out. Me giving you a dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. But, you know, um, Money misused all the time. A lot of y'all misuse y'all money to pay y'all bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you're young. You make dumb decisions that you got to live with. You know? But uh, it says, Tax Fund Reveals have Black Lives Matter co-founder spent charity funds. It says, let me see this. It says, uh, Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Callier used charity funds to pay her brother and child, father, eye water, and sums of cash various services according to tax document filed with the irs the co-founder's brother paul colliers saw a cool sum of eight hundred and forty thousand hit his bank account for allegedly providing security service to non-profit organization tax documents seen the post seen by the post show meanwhile the organization paid a company owned by damon turner with whom collier shares a child almost nine hundred seventy thousand to help produce live events as well as her other creative services now this is what they do. This is what people do in the real world. You know, you look at a lot of inner cities, a lot of cities, the, the people that contracted to fix the, light, fix the lights, the people that's contracted to do the roads, that's their buddies. You know, why you think the roads are always messed up? You know, especially when you're up here in Michigan, Ohio, is you know, constantly messed up and they're working on the roads that don't need to be worked on. It's a, you, it's a pay to play. It's a, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. That's all it is. Same thing with the churches. They they not they don't have to pay taxes as long as they help help the politicians get elected. This is the way it goes. Now they shine a light on what she's doing it. It's different because it's charity money. But guess what? How you look at it, it's still your money. If you if you if you spending charity money with Black Lives Matter or you paying taxes, that's how it is. It's a pay to play, and that's they always gonna take care of their people. Politicians or you know, even people work for the city. You know, if you think politicians ain't got their families and good city jobs and all that type of money, that's the way it is. But it's different when it's shine on a sister or a brother. But hey, I just know from the the wire show you that TV show on top of controversy, Black Lives Matter wrapped up its physical year with uh which runs from July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021, with a stunning 42 million in net assets. The foundation had an operation budget of about four million according to the board members. He said more than 37 million, excuse me, was spent by foundations on grants, real estate, charter, or on part uh, part on private flights, according to tax filings. So he said what's, what's more, 32 million was invested in stocks, making up nearly a third of the 90 million in the organization received in donations. Man. Investments is expected to become an endowment in a, uh, in a bid to ensure the foundation work continues and the future organizers say. My thing is, what are they doing? What are they doing with somebody in, in, in need? I just leave it like that. What are they what are they doing with somebody not in need? You know, where where are they? Are they building gyms? Are they 
uh, giving money for mentorship programs? Are they going to schools, buying books, buying computers, putting AC units in? Are they redoing school floor? If they did a little bit of that, you know, then I'd be okay. What are they doing? And that's up to her to explain. What are they doing to the for, for the inner city community? What are they doing for people that's donating? Even if you donate for the suburb, what are you doing? The investment, uh, the investment expected to become, oh, I read that one. The 63 page form 990 document annual filing required for nonprofit organizations to maintain their tax exemption status. So it's Kyrie's reimbursement organization, $73,523 for a charter flight. So she paid it back. Black Lives Matter insists she took the flight in 2021 on concern for COVID 19 pandemic and health risks that come with it. We all have to take a chance. I had to go to a funeral. I had to take a chance. I'd rather go party in Vegas. I took a chance and took a regular or domestic flight. So, you know, she got to show some health reasons why she had high risk to take that flight, in my opinion. Kyle's already founded herself in high, found herself in high water receiving a cool 120000 payment for undisclosed consulting fees by Black Lives Matter. There you go. Um, there you go. After back to back controversy, Kyrie's last year resigned as executive director of the organization amid criticism over her lavish lifestyle. The tax filing release closely follows the controversy over the purchase of a $6 million property in Los Angeles. Black Lives Matter, uh, Black Lives Matter BLM, faced a torrent of backlash last month when publicly emerged that the organization purchased a swanky Southern California home using donated cash. What do they do? What do they do? In they, what do they do to make money? As you know, before this happened, callers at the time said she was weeks removed from being in survival mode after the post exclusive report revealed her purchase of four high end USA homes for 3.2 million. Um, during that time, she would she said she hosted Joe Biden's inauguration party for about 15 people, including Black Lives Matter chapter members and other key allies of the organization. Red flag, red flag there. Kyers initially, uh, hold on, initially said the property was purchased by Black Lives Matter to serve as a meeting venue and campus. She also uh, issued a statement denying suggestions that she lived at the property or taken advantage of for personal gain. Kyra says she also threw a private birthday party for her son at the property in March 2021 and intended to pay a rental fee to Black Lives Matter. The recent uh, tax filing show she paid the foundation additional $390 over her use of the 6,500-square-foot uh, 6, yeah, 6, studio property for two private events. That sounds a little bit cheap, especially if that's in California. You know, so I'll just go on and on, bro. If we being real, so you get the gist of it. Um, that's just how this is how it work, bro. Even with charity money, without charity money, you know, like I said before, that that that, that acronym, that well, the BLM, it don't stand for what y'all think it stand for. It don't. Take me the first ones to say something else, but you know, at the end of the day, you figure, you know, it is what it is. You know, I think the church's money always used rightly, crazy as hell. It's not. So y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but it's not. You know. So it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Shout out to Mike. He asked me to do a video on it. I accommodated that. Got a video request. You hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Twitter or fake. Oh, excuse me. Twitter or Instagram. Uh Twitter's probably the fastest way I get it quicker that way. But uh, uh just hit my link tree link. You find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Venmo, PayPal. All my links in one links. First link description. Financial, financial, you want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Uh, that's what the donate. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, check out the uh, current news playlist. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.